Diego María de la Concepción, Juan de Pomuceno, Estinaslao, de la Rivera, Barreto, Sacosta y Rodríguez. That, oh my God, that's really long. Diego Rivera, a big old name now. Cinco de Mayo is basically a super epic war that that we won in Mexico against France. And we were very ill-equipped and very outnumbered. So I, it just, we celebrated to basically show the spirit and strength of the Mexican people um, in Mexico and Puebla specifically. In the US, we celebrated for its culture, the food. To honor that, we wanted to do a Cinco de Mayo week. So if you guys watch Sandra's videos, um, you're able to see all the cute little crafts that she did or will do and show you guys here for K1 uh, crafts, elementary. I'll be showing you guys the middle school one today, which is this one. So we'll be celebrating Teo Rivera for our Cinco de Mayo week. And this is our activity here. It's a rendition of his uh, flower vendors. And in most of his images, you'll see calla lilies, which also mean a lot to the Mexican culture. Um, they sit in fire purity, um, life, and some people it resembles um, the Virgin Mary, which also represents uh, purity in life. And we see them a lot in funerals as well. It's just an image that's an icon that's always used or used a lot in Mexican um, painting. Dio Rivera as a muralist use it a lot as well and this is an example of his work and what we'll be kind of going off of for our piece today. Any any other facts, Sandra, that you know about Diego Rivera? And he painted many, 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 many paintings of uh, 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 flower vendors. So you can actually if you, you Google, look, quick Google, Google it, all his work will have Yeah, it, you yeah. will find it. This is my version of one of his flower vendors. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be doing it with just um, any coloring uh, tool device you have, so color pencils, markers, crayons. Uh, we're also gonna need um, scissors, a pencil to draw, a marker if you want to darken your lines. Uh, I mentioned glue stick, glue stick, and the glue stick is actually for the lilies that we're gonna be making. So the lilies, I wanted to cover. Um, like we usually do different elements of art for here, so to add texture, we're going to be working with magazine, uh, which I cut up, that has more of a white shade to it or a white tone. And we're going to make the, our little lilies out of it, so that should look like this. Looks like a little teardrop egg type of thing, but that's what we're going to do and that's what we're going to use to make our, our cow lilies for our drawing. So. If you want to follow along, I'm going to draw my version of it really quickly and you guys can see it. I'll also just leave an image so you guys can pause the video if you guys want to just forward, forward through it and just look at the image and copy it. But I'm still going to take my time to just draw it really quickly and you guys can color on your own and then I'll show you how to do the flowers and we can glue it later. Sounds good? Alright, let's get started. Just to find the center really quickly, you can um, either measure if you want to go that route or simply just fold your paper in half. Like so. And I'm going to just tap it really quick. Like this. And to find, um, it's not necessary to find the center if you don't want to. Um, I usually do like to distribute all the weight of all the stuff around my composition. But for this one, it would be nice to put it in the center so that the flowers can actually move out of the way of the frame a little bit more. So I drew it earlier, so I'm going to just copy the way I have it, um, again, really quickly. And All right, from here, um, we're gonna make the arm. So to make the arm, I usually just like to do like a little indent for like the fold of the arm here, and then bring this in. And to make the hands, we want the hands to be close. What I do is kind of make a rounded square, and then do like a zigzag pattern to, to um, Make it look like it were the fingers crossing into each other. So I do it in zigzag. And make sure you count four fingers. So I'm gonna zigzag one, two, three, four. And that should represent my fingers like this, close together, or the fingers close together. 
after that just connect your lines and that's pretty much it let's see uh, a few more things this is the bottom of the lily so like the stem so i'm just kind of zigzagging a few stems here you can add depth by adding some behind and then some here as well so these are more lily stems you kind of have them go everywhere we're also covering in this case line the element of line uh, with this project i'm also going to do a line here and you right here you can do like a basket weave like you want to go like this to do a basket weave pattern go ahead or you can do like scales but it's it's a basket i'm going to just do scales because it's a little faster so you can see what i'm what i mean There it is. So like, once I get a marker, I'll show you how everything should look and we'll erase everything. Well, bam, and it should look like this by now. So once you get to here, you want to color it whatever color you would like. Um, if you want things to pop, make sure you're you're messing with a little bit of contrast. If you remember our color lesson, um, using warm against cool and so on and so forth. Just remember that this down here will be green. So um, this as well in this too, because it's the stem. So I'm I colored mine already, so I'm gonna show you how it looks already. And this is it. So once you get to here, you would like to do, or what we're gonna do is the actual cavalry. So like I said, I got magazine pieces and anything that looks like white or cream color. So I got like this one, for example, has a lot of colors here, but it has a lot of neutral colors here. So I'm gonna use that part. So any magazine that you have, you guys have newspaper or scrap paper, um, you can use if you have white paper that's totally fine too just by gluing the white paper on top of this other paper it makes it look more textured and that's all we're going to need for now just white and then a yellow marker to make the inside of the can lily so i'm just using the yellow and i'm making like an oval and then the way i made them was like just a really extended uh like teardrop with a little bit more spunk there see so it's like a wavy Thing. And that's how I made all my calla leaves. And you just probably cut it out for And if you want to get more detailed, you can. Like you can take a pen to this and kind of add more shadows and stuff. But this is a very simple version of it. And you would just glue all this down. Just to save some time, I don't think I'm going to glue it. But I am gonna kind of put it together. This is an example of like a magazine or even like a newspaper type that has words on it, which is really nice. Anything that has like a white tone to it will be good for this. And that's pretty much it. You'd glue this down and then you guys, that's pretty much the activity. You can add as many flowers as you want. You don't have to glue it all the way down. I kind of like how this one's like bending over and gives it some dimension. But if you like to try it out, it doesn't take that many supplies, doesn't take that much time. And if you guys do some research, maybe you'll look into um, more of Diego Rivera's work and see that you're fascinated by a certain series that he has more than others. But this, uh, the Catalina or the Flower Bender is one of my favorites. 